Now that you have a brand new project in front of you, the next thing that you're going to want to do is start pre-planning and developing the requirements of your VBA application. In this case, what are you trying to achieve? That way you know how to better proceed with your project. Because when we, when we start building the web scraper, we're going to have two options for accessing the internet and getting the source code, modifying the web page, and you really want to understand what's going to be the best route to take. And let me show you that quick demonstration. That way we can understand how to better plan for our project. I'm going to go to the Visual Basic environment and I'm going to just insert a user form. I'm not going to keep this user form, we're going to create a different one. But already I have a control here that's my web browser control. And the way you add that, you go to View, select the Toolbox, that way your toolbox is visible. Right click inside the toolbox and click Additional Controls. Under Additional Controls, you're going to scroll down and look for the Microsoft Web Browser Control. Mine is already checkmarked, but in this case, if you have never set this up, checkmark the Microsoft Web Browser Control and then select OK. And then you'll see this icon right here that has the web browser. Now this web browser control, once I draw it onto the user form, we're going to have a web browser actually embedded into our user form application. There are some pros and cons to this. I can tell you from experience when you're using the web browser control and if you were to open this open this user form in another workstation or computer that's not yours, sometimes th that workstation may not have the web browser control properly registered. And that can come with an issue when Microsoft Excel is being installed. I've seen issues where it, it that does happen, but if you want to make sure that your application is very reliable on any workstation you put it in, then this route probably isn't going to be the best way to go. This route is going to be good to go when you're going to be using your own computer, your workstation, you know that your computer is going to be the one running this VBA application and compatibility with other systems isn't the most crucial need. Now if you are going to be using multiple workstations, then you're probably go you're going to want to use the Internet Explorer application object. Now that object is called differently. We won't be using the control that's on the form. I'm going to delete this real quick and I'm just going to draw a command button instead. With the command button, that's just your basic control. Every version of Excel is going to support the command button. There won't be any issues with that. And what you can do instead is call the Internet Explorer application. And the way you can do that, I, mean, I have some code already set up, but I'm going to double click the command button. I'm going to paste this code in. It's just doing the, we're setting a variable to create an object, the Internet Explorer, that application object. We're just setting the position here, object IE, the name of the variable that we've established. Top is zero, left zero. We're setting the width of the application to 800 pixels, the height to 600. We can take off these these attributes right here, but all we're doing here, that's removing the address bar, removing the status bar and toolbar. I'm actually gonna remove that so we have just a basic looking internet application object. And then just put object IE dot visible is equal to true. And then we put object IE dot navigate and just the web page that we wanna go to. And when we do this, Microsoft Excel does not have to look at the controls, what controls are on the form, in this case the web browser control. This is just going to open up a brand new Internet Explorer window. So I'm going to hit F5 and show you the demonstration. If I hit the com command button, now I did get an error, let me hit debug. I misspelled the variable name, object IE, so let me just go on and correct that and hit F5 again. And we'll see that the Internet Explorer window opened up. I'm going to just do that again. So you see there isn't any kind of complications with that. We don't have we're not, we don't have to be worried if, if the control is registered, the web browser control. This is using the Internet Explorer that's built in on the workstation. Now that doesn't mean compatibility issues is completely resolved because now the next thing you'll have to worry about is what version of Internet Explorer is your user using. Because if you're familiar with with web servers and how web pages work, every time that you access the internet or a web page, 
your web browser sends a string to the server and that server and let me just explain that string is identifying the, the the web browser you are using so the code the server sends back is relevant to the web browser that you're using the the version so if you're programming on a system that's using Internet Explorer 9 and then you try using this VBA application for somebody that's still using Internet Explorer version 7 the source code will likely be very different and the code that you create for your web scraper may not work so just keep that in mind one of the best things to do is always determine the requirements of the user that will be using your application if they're going to be using Internet Explorer 8 and you know that's not going to change then by all means make sure that you design your application with Internet Explorer 8 coding